Hey everyone, Princess with Moonfall here. Hope you're all doing wonderful and great. Today we are back playing Stuck in a Yandere Visual Novel Help. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, uh, the first day took like about an hour. So we're here on the technically second day, but February 3rd. Okay, here we go. February 3rd. I stare into the mirror, making the most confident and determined expression I can muster. I do it. I can do it. I definitely survive. I can. I definitely survive until Valentine's Day. One step at a time. And the main event for today is getting invited to Leon's basketball game for tomorrow. Hmm. Now that I think about it, why would he do that? I'm his best friend. It should be given that I'll that I'll go. I guess the game was written that way. For the benefit of the player, childhood friend scenarios are difficult to write with all the information the writer needs to dump them to the reader. They must have added the scenes so the player isn't abruptly thrown into the basketball game. Anyway, let's get out there. Task number one, make breakfast. <coughs> yeah, okay. Hang on, let me uh, cut my volume back on, because I cut it off or... Okay, here we go. What's that smell? Did we forget to take the trash out yesterday? No, nothing at all. I toss the contents of the pan into the garbage and try again. Ah! Hey, don't throw that in there! Huh? It melts the plastic! Ah! What? No one needs to see the next few attempts. <clears throat> Miraculously, I eventually made something edible, although based on the expression my brother made, it was definitely not as good as the protagonist's usual food. I'll consider this task a success. Buffer zone. Task number two, create a yandere buffer zone. Aww. Please stay with me, little bro. All right, all right. Let go of my arm. What's the matter with you, big bro? Nothing. I just want to spend more time with you. Look at little bro. He looks so mad. He's like, Ugh. actually, I just really don't want to be alone with Leo again. Uh. He's not buying it. Does this have to do with what you're worried about yesterday? Oh, yeah, kind of. He lets out a huff and crosses his arms. Fine, I'll go to school with you. Thank you so much. I pull him into a hug, which makes a choke sound for him before relaxing and waiting for me to let him go. He's like, my brother never hugs me. Uh, if you know, look at the little brother's hat. There is a knife in the heart. And then on the little rim, it's a bear with two knives. Uh, I think there's also a knife on his jacket in the lower bottom, like under the text. That's kind of funny, I guess, since he's not really a yandere, yandere or whatever. Oh, look at him, he's so adorable. Hey, sorry, I was running late. Uh, my other thing, is Leon's hand tattooed? Like, that's kind of a sick tattoo. Good morning! Oh, uh, you're here too. Yeah, is that a problem? Mm. No, it's just a little unexpected. Leon shifts his gaze at me, a small frown present on his face. He doesn't look upset, but he certainly doesn't look happy either. Well, we should hurry up or we'll miss the train. <laughs> we arrive at school half an hour before first period. All right, see you later, big bro. <laughs> Wait. No way. What's the matter with you lately? I want to spend time with my friends too. Before I can say anything, it runs off. My buffer zone. <laughs> uh. What's that about? Did you get into a fight with him? 
What? No, of course not. <clears throat> hmm. Aren't you gonna get breakfast? Oh, yep. Yeah. I was wondering what they'll have today. Ooh. The smile returns to Leon's face, and I find myself smiling back at him. How could I not? He looks so innocent like this. I wait with him in line to go get breakfast, and we find an empty table at the back of the cafeteria to sit. Why hasn't he asked me to attend a base basketball game yet? Task number three, receive basketball game invite. <clears throat> How's practice been? Pretty good, I think we're going to win tomorrow. Oh, great. Do, do I have to drop more hints? Hey, Leon, do you want me to be at your game tomorrow, right? Of course, why wouldn't I? You'll be able to come, right? No, no, I'll definitely be there. Finally. Finally, I guess transmigration adds a level of realism to the whole story. Oh, you're gonna be at the game? Me too. What, huh? Why is he here? Before I could protest, Vincent slides into the seat next to me. He leans until our shoulders touch and pressed his weight against me. Um... Leon. Let's meet up for the game, okay? Huh? What? M me? Yep, I want to spend more time with you. My new best friend! Huh? Huh? What did we become friends? Is this because of yesterday? But I ran off. How did he conclude that I want to be his friend? I, uh... He leans close to me and ghosts a finger under my chin. What is he? Is he going to? You don't have. You don't want to go as friends. Then we can make it a date instead. Suddenly, someone yanks Vincent off of me. I look up to find Leon glaring down at us. <laughs> can I help you? What do you think you're doing? Vincent stands. He's not as tall as Leon, but he his demeanor is intimidating enough that he doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. He stares Leon straight in the eye and smirks up at him. <laughs> Flirting with him. You got a problem with that? What? Hmm. You. Hey, if you like someone, you do something about it. Better than beating around the bush for years. Oh, he called him out. Vincent laughs as he leans against me, throwing an arm around my shoulder and pulling me into a one-armed hug. Hey. Me. <laughs> well, if you got nothing to say, Leon, then scram. Leon's eyes narrow dangerously and his fists shake as he clenches them. Oh, look at his evil face. Oh, oh no, no. Hey! I reach and grab one of Leon's hands. The shaking stops and his fingers unfurl slightly as they move to ghost over my thumb. Does that mean grab? To grab over my thumb? Maybe. It's kind of weird to say ghost, like... Oh. The murderous edge disappears from his expression and he retracts his hands from mine. Mm -hmm. Leon, I'll definitely come to your game tomorrow night to cheer you on. I'll definitely do my best with you there. Don't look so happy, man. You should... I accidentally clicked. Let's see if I can go back. <laughs> no, I cannot. Dang it. <laughs> Vincent closes his eyes with a huff of annoyance. That's fine. I'll win you over one way or another. He gives me a cocky smirk as he stands and leans towards me. I step back only to crash into Leon's chest. His hands grip my shoulders to steady me, but he doesn't step back to give me space. <laughs> Why am I stuck between both of them? Vincent leads closer, still and tilts his head so that his lips are almost touching my ear ears. I flinch 
feeling Leon's hands tighten on my shoulders in response. Leon, grab your boy out of there. Don't just, ah, my heart rates, my heart rate accelerates. I need to get out of here fast, but my feet remain glued to the floor. I'll see you tomorrow night then. What the hell are you doing? Leon finally steps back, pulling me with him. Ha ha ha. Father, you want him, of course. You're in high school. Don't tell me that you still don't understand what that's like. Leon glares at him, but Vincent ignores it completely and turns to me instead. I'll pick you up at six, honey. <laughs> and Leon, good luck with your at your game. I hope you trip and fall on your face. Vincent! That was mean. Vincent just laughs and he walks off. Oh my. I, what, I can't believe that just happened. Another yonder is personal space, personal space. But Leon, I recognize that look from the game. The main character sees it for the first time later in the route. But Leon makes that face when he's plotting a person's murder. Huh? huh? Wait. Why did I get to see it so early in the game then? Hmm. In fact, why did Vincent show up to ask me to join him for the basketball game? This didn't happen in the original storyline. Hey. Huh? huh? Do you like guys like that? Do you like him? Well, what? If you like him... Mm. If you like him, I'll accept that you're my best friend. If you... You're happy with him, I'll be happy for you. Okay. You're not my dad, man. But if you don't like him, I'll kill him. What? <clears throat> I knew something like that was coming, but somehow I still caught off guard. Leon, well, do you like him or not? Hold the damn phone. If I say no, Vincent dies, but if I say yes, would I still be able to stay on Leon's route? No. The smart thing to do here is to say no, but I, I think back to Vincent's crying alone, thinking the world had turned against him. I remember how loving he was on his route, the way he pampered the main character, not to mention his heart-wrenching reaction when he finds out the protagonist dead in the bad end. Why, why do I feel this way? Seriously, it's just a game. Even if he dies, it's just code, yet... I look at the choices again. If I say yes and end up on Vincent's route, he has some good ends too. Maybe ones where I'll never see the light of day again, but they're still good ends. Leon stares at me waiting for an answer. My eyes flip between the two options that stand between us. Do I, I have to? Oh, come on. Are there any other choices? A jolt as the menu changes, option, options change. What? How? Actually, no point in wondering. I need to pick up the pick an answer. Please don't kill him. Please, please don't kill him. Oh. I was just exaggerating. I wouldn't actually kill him. You wouldn't? Hmm. I might break a few bones. But you're telling me is you don't like him? Even if I... Don't like him. Please don't kill him, Leon. It would be really disappointing to attend a funeral during our senior oh. year. Of course. I would never do anything that upset you. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. His dedication is so sweet. I really love that about him. Okay, are we ending the day? Yep, day's end. The rest of the day passed by uneventfully before I knew it. It was February 4th. And the game for the basket, and it's time for the basketball game. Oi, hurry up! We're gonna be late. I'm almost done. I look at the clock. Huh? Don't we have an hour? My brother opens the door and steps into some room, raising an eyebrow at me with my book scattered on my desk. The main character is supposed to be a stellar student, based on the last report card. So I thought I'd try doing the homework. Aww. How did I ever manage to pass high school? 
The train ride to the other school will take at least 45 minutes. Huh? Is that another school? Uh... Yeah. Don't you pay attention to the morning announcements at school? Also, Leon didn't mention it to you? Hmm. Uh, maybe. Don't tell him I forgot. He frowns but nods. He's been giving me suspicious look the past few days. I hope he isn't on to me. Hmm. Well, even if he is, he is better than one of the yonder is. I'll get dressed and be right out. He says, and he wears the exact same thing. All dressed and ready for the game. I run first to the closet for a jacket as my brother pulls on his shoes and opens the door. Oh, perfect timing. Uh -huh. My brother jumps as Vincent greets us from the doorway. He's too stunned to do anything as Vic Vincent push it, brushes past him and steps into our home. Vincent? He finally says after gathering his nerves, me on the other hand, am still staring at with my mouth open. <laughs> In the flesh, wait. Who are you? Vincent, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm here to pick you up for our not date. My brother tilts his head and crosses his arms as if to ask me to explain? I wish I could explain the situation too. Hold on, hold on, back up. Huh? When did I agree? Mm. Yesterday at breakfast. Don't tell me you forgot. Based on the dangerous glint I spot in his eye, it's best to say I didn't. I mean, you didn't text me once. Oh, if you want my number, you only had to ask. Here, give me your phone. No! No, I mean, how did you even find out where I live? You told me? What? No, I didn't. Mm. Yeah, you did. Did you forget? You told me to come pick you up at 6 p.m. at this address. I, I do remember something vaguely like that being said, but I'm confident I did not give out my address. Because I don't even remember it myself. Aww. I just made it home by following Leon and brother. Uh, I spot a hint of desperation in Vincent's eyes. And he's looking more and more dangerous the longer this drags on. Uh. My eyes shift to my brother who continuously continues to stand at the doorway. He's looking uneasy and suspicious too. After all, popular or not, Vincent's just a stranger to him. To me, too, really. He just walks into our home. Oh no. But if I make a scene here, what would Vincent do? Would he hurt me while my brother's watching? So far, I've been able to keep Leon in check. By having my brother around. Wait, would he even hurt my brother to get to me? In the game, the main this man manages to kidnap the main character. <laughs> Why are you spacing out? Huh? I'm s sorry. I guess my memory is a bit messed up from studying just now. I must have given you our address. It's the only way this makes sense. At those words, Vincent, Vincent is all arrogant smiles and sparkles again. Perfect. Let's go. The car's parked outside. Ah! Is that a limo? No, just a car. Well, if we're driving there, that saves us a little bit of time. Ugh. Us? Who invited you? Hey, stop that. He's my brother and he's coming to the game too. If you're taking me, Vincent, you have to take him too. Oh, no need, big bro. I don't want to interrupt your date. It's not a date. <laughs> Oh, there's no need to be shy. It's a date. <laughs> Vincent moves in to hug me and I quickly duck out of the way. His expression sours. Maybe I should have shouldn't have done that. Aww. My head is spinning. This is giving me a headache. This never happened in the game. The basketball game is all is an event purely on Leon's route. Why did Vincent show up? Look, whatever it is, we have to get going or we'll be late. I um Vincent? I'm not leaving my little brother behind. If I'm going to the game with you, he's coming with us. With me? So it will so it will be a date. I wish he stopped looking so happy about that. It's okay, I don't want to be a third wheel. No. You won't. Please don't leave me alone with Vincent. I might not come back home. I have to my back towards Vincent so he doesn't see the desperation in my eyes my little like my brother does I hope this is enough um, okay great let's get going 
he doesn't seem happy with the outcome, but at least he isn't arguing for otherwise. Once Vincent is out of earshot, my brother grabs my arm and pulls me back. Hey, what's going on with you? Huh? What, what do you mean? Why is Vincent here? Since when did you become friends? And why are you acting like this? You look like you've been on edge for a while. Oh, thank God. He's just worried about me. I'm not sure yet, but it's hard to say no to Vincent. I'll be more relieved with you there, though. He drops my arm and steps past me. Just a thanks is more than enough, big bro. Hurry up. I don't want to be stuck alone with Vincent either. <laughs> right, sorry. I've become so used to saying things that pleases Yonder as like Leon and Vincent. I forgot to turn off the charm for my brother. The ride there was awkward at first with Vincent forcibly trying to make conversation with me. My brother doing his best to ignore us. But eventually Vincent calms down and my brother even able to exchange a few words with him. Meanwhile, I'm stuck wondering what's going on. I'm no longer following the events of the game. Did I misremember something? This certainly isn't Vincent's route, but why do I have to keep him happy too? Do I have to figure out how to keep two yonderies happy? A sound of cheers and shouting greets our ears before we even make it to the gym. Sure. We're late. Don't say that like it's my fault. There was traffic. We should have taken the train. Uh. Yeah, you should have. There's no way I'm taking public transportation. Do, do you realize where you live? It's faster to take the train than drive. Honestly, if you're so rich, why do you even attend public school? Huh? That's a good question. I wondered why I didn't question it when I was playing the game. My parents are butts. Besides, I got to meet your brother, so I don't care anymore. Going to public school has been worth it. What? Hey. He pulls me into an unprompted hug, and my heart jumps as I freezes in terror. Vincent drags my frozen body a couple steps before he lets go. You okay? It's fine. Let's just hurry to the gym. I wish he'd give me some warning before he does that. We walk into an un unfamiliar school's gym. It's all about the same size as the one in my school. Two sets of bleachers are set up on one side of the gymnasium as we hurry to find the place to sit. As half the audience stands to cheer loudly for one of the teams. Which team is Leon again? I think our school color is red. The crowd calms down again once we've opened the seats with the second row of bleachers. We have a good view of the game from here. Huh? Are we winning? I look around for the scoreboard. Nope. We're behind by 10 points already. Already? Aren't we only a few minutes late? Because <laughs> Leon team stuck. sucks. You heard that? Leon, you suck! Vincent, Leon's team is our school's team. The one we should be cheering for. <laughs> oh, you still suck, Leon. <laughs> he is such a character. Oh, this is going to be a long game. Leon, what's the matter with you? You missed the ball again. Oh, my bad. Despite saying that, his eyes just towards the bleachers. Leon, why are you so distracted? He's not here yet. Oh. Sorry, Captain. I won't get distracted again. The ball bounces across the, the floor towards Leon. From this angle, he can make the <laughs> shot. It caught, hey, it's because Leon team suck. You heard that? Leon, you suck. Oh. Leon jolts his muscle seizes up at the sound of Vincent's grating voice. If he's <laughs> here, Leon can't help but glass over to where he heard that voice. And as he fears, Vincent is sitting with his best friend in the second row of the bleachers. Leon! Oh. The ball bounces past him and the member of the other team grabs it and dribbles it away the other side of the court. Shit. The other team scores just as the referee blows his whistle for a timeout. Leon, get over here. Yes, Captain. He hurries over to the rest of his team, but he spares a glance at the bleachers again. And feels the white hot rage whelps up in within his chest. Vincent's chatting with him. He's paying attention to Vincent. Vincent shouldn't be here. Leon starts back towards the bleachers. Leon, where are you going? Leon blinks and shakes his head, clearing his thoughts as he looks back at his captain. Ah, sorry, I'll be right there. 
He seemed to look again with that burning rage and is still in his chest, just somewhat subdued, forced down by the lid of the pot, but still bubbling and boiling and threatening to spill over. He decides not to look back. Huh. Ha! <laughs> wow, he missed a perfectly perfect pass. How is this guy on a basketball team? Vincent doubles over with laughter as he pats my arm, trying to get me to laugh with him. But honestly, even if I found it funny, I'm feeling too distraught to join him. How did it go in the game? I think I had to cheer for Leon with all my might. It was the first event, so it was simple and obvious. No double meanings to the choices I had to make. Aww. But right now the game's on pause because we're losing. Vincent's here trying to get my attention. Looks like Leon's getting chewed out over there. Serves him right. <sighs> Vincent's getting insistent. I pay attention to him. <laughs> hey, hey, let's leave. We're doing badly anyways, and Leon's such a loser. Watch here for him. How about we go to a bar instead? No way! A bar? You're under age. I'm also rich. How does... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> so how about it? Let's go. I need to make a decision soon. Cheer for Leon or pay attention to Vincent. Of course. Right on cue. Cheer for Leon. I ignored Vincent's questions and looked towards the court instead. They're still in... And time out, and Leon is indeed getting chewed out by his captain. I sigh. I let out a sigh, and he looks so defeated. Is there really nothing I can do? Could I walk over and give him a pep talk at least? But just as I was debating this, Leon, captain stops. Stop his lecture, leaving Leon to stare at the floor. Then he looks up back at the bleachers, allowing our eyes to meet. He surprised me for a moment, but his bright and sunny smile spreads as soon on his face and gives me a quick wave. Unable to stop myself from smiling as well, I gave a small wave back. I don't know. The referee blows the whistle and mumbles the conversation of the crowd turns to explicit cheers again as the players run back to the court to continue the game. Whew. I ain't gonna lie, uh, I'm probably gonna have to end this video here because I don't really talk a lot like this. Like, I do talk a lot, but not like back to back to back to back where I'm just, and my throat's getting really part. So, I guess these uh, videos of the Stuck in the Yandere novel is gonna be short because, yeah, my throat, you can hear it in the back of my throat, or you can hear my throat. <laughs> well, anyway. I'll see y'all next video. Hope y'all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Bye!